right. Uh, from time to time, uh, people are confused about um, decibels, and I sort of wanted to do a video on this and another thing, but um, yeah, uh, a decibel. So a lot of times you'll see uh, things, a little, little d, big B, and that stands for um, decibel. All right. And um, so uh, Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone, and he got his patent for the telephone in 1880, 1876, I forget, somewhere back there, before, before 1900, he got a patent on the telephone. So he did a lot of work with telephone circuits, and he found himself needing to measure the line level of the telephones, and he didn't really have a good unit for that. Um, he wanted to know how much power was being transmitted, so he wanted to have a, a watts per watt. He wanted to have a watts per watt uh, uh, measurement, so like uh, watts in divided by watts out, or watts out divided by watts in. He needed to have something to measure what was going on here, right? And so these didn't work out for him. He wanted different size numbers, okay? And so, and so he says, okay, I don't like that. Um, maybe logarithms will be good, okay? So he's gonna use logarithms and it's gonna be, uh, we'll call it power. Uh, power divided by power, okay? So the logarithm of the power out divided by the power in. So uh, this is out and this is in, okay? And he called this a bell or somebody else named it after him, I forget. Um, this was done around the right 1920s, some, somewhere around there. This is called a bell, and um, it was named after him. And it's, it's the power out in watts uh, divided by the power in in watts, and the logarithm of that is a bell, okay? And then they started using that, and they went, uh, it's, the numbers aren't quite right. <laughs> the numbers aren't quite right. They're too big. We don't like them. They're too big. We need to have something that's one-tenth of that. And that's the decibel. Deci means one-tenth of a bell. So one decibel is actually, is ten. So you need ten decibels decibels to equal one bell, okay? So 10 decibels is one bell. And so what's the formula? The formula is a dB is 10 log of power over power, okay? And that 10 is this 10 over here. Um, so um, this is log base 10, okay? Log base 10. So, if you have uh, the same amount of power, uh, 1 over 1, you have the logarithm 1 times 10, all right? So we need to get a, uh, we need to get a calculator out, all right? So if we take 1 and we take the base 10 logarithm of 1, that's 0, okay? So the log of one divided by one is zero. So zero dB is no gain, <laughs> okay? And then if you have 10 times the power output, okay? So let's say you have 10 watts out, one watt in, you have the logarithm of 10, okay? And if you take 10 and you take the logarithm of that, that's once, so the logarithm of 10 is one, 1 times 10 is 10. So 10 dB is when you have 10 times the amount of power out that you have in. And if you have 1 tenth, then it's minus 10 dB. All right, that's just the way logarithms work. All right, so uh, takeaway here is that it's logarithm space 10 and it's power over power. Now, a lot of times you'll be measuring in volts, okay? and you want to know what the dB, let's say you have, you know, 10 volts out and one volt in, and that's, you don't, you don't plug into this formula. No, 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 that's volts. You need power, okay? So what is power? Okay, so power equals volts times current. 
All right, what is current? Current is um, volts divided by resistance, all right? Remember, volts equals IR, so I equals V over R, all right? So you plug that in here, you get power equals V squared over R, okay? V squared, all right? So if you're measuring voltage, okay, and you don't want to know what the power is, you need to do this to it. You need to square it and then divide it by the resistance. Okay, so let's say you have... Uh, Let's give our example here. We have 10 volts in and we have a 50 ohm system. We're going to divide that by one, one volt at 50 ohms. Okay. All right. So uh, this is the same thing. The 50s are going to cancel out. These 50s are going to go away because they're the same on the top and the bottom. So basically you're going to have 10 squared divided by one squared, which is just 10 squared, right? which is 100. And then you take um, the logarithm of that. All right, so we'll have 100. And then you take the logarithm of that. Yes, I can do this in my head, but you get two, okay? You get two. And then two times 10, remember we have that 10 out there, you have 20 dB. Um, so um, let me get a new piece of paper here. And we're going to rewrite this, these formulas again. So we have um, a dB equals 10 log P over P, okay? And a dB is also, remember we have V squared over V squared over here? The way that logarithms work, if you have a square inside the logarithm, you can move it outside as just a multiplier. So you bring the two out and this becomes 20 log of V over V. You don't square them out here. You've already squared them. See the, the two out here is the square over the square. Remember this is, would be 10 V squared over V squared. But if you say, if you put the 20 out here, then it says V over V. So it makes it easier. So now we just have 20 times log of let's say 10 divided by one, okay? And the log of 10 is one times 20, it's 20. So 20 dB for a gain of 10, all right? All right, so this gain of 10 thing being 20 dB, you'll see it in other places, okay? A lot of times you'll look at maybe the gain bandwidth of an op amp or a filter or something, and you'll see this thing in a graph, okay? And they're talking about this line, this slope, okay? Talking about that slope. And they say it's 20 dB per decade. Okay, decade. So 10 dB for t per decade. What is a decade? A decade is when that, so this is frequency and this is amplitude, okay? When the frequency changes by a value of 10, Okay, that's a decade. And if the frequency changes by 10, then the amplitude will change by 20 dB, which is basically 10 because it's V over V, right? So um, that's the way the 20 dB per decade came from because it's 10 times the frequency. And if your formula is something like, you know, blah, 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 it's F over RCL, blah, 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 blah. You have F in the, oops, sorry. It, 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 F over R times C plus some constants, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't really matter what everything else is. If there's an F in the equation, that means that this thing changes with F. And if F goes up by 10, this thing goes up by 10, all right? So if you have some type of device that has some gain that is a function of frequency, you'll get this times 10 is 20 dB of drop, okay? And um, you'll also hear uh, 6 dB per octave. And you think, oh, that's something different. No, it's exactly the same thing. It's just a way, another way of stating it. 
okay? So what is an octave? Well, in music, an octave is when you go from A440 A hertz to A880 hertz. It's double the frequency. Double the frequency is an octave. So this is 10 times the frequency. This is two times the frequency. So this is 10, this is two. Octaves are two, decades are 10. So we only go down 6 dB if we only go over two, not over 10, okay? Where's that six come from, okay? Well, that six comes from this formula here. We had uh, 20 log 10 over one. What if we had 20 log two over one? Okay, what is, what is log of two, all right? Now I do need a calculator. <laughs> so two uh, logarithm base 10. Oops, let's see here. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we have, double guessing myself, we have 301, 0 0.301, okay? So this is 0 0.301 times 20. So multiply this by 20 and you get, oops, sorry, you get 6.02, 06. <laughs> so 6.0206 is the real number. 20 dB is perfectly accurate, but six is an estimation. <laughs> six is a rounding thing. It's actually 6.0206, okay? But they just call it six dB per octave. They say, ah, close enough. All right, there you go. A little bit about logarithms and stuff and uh, hard. if you don't like math, then skip this one, but <laughs> there you go. That's where uh, uh, 20 dB per octave comes from, uh, 20 dB per decade comes from, and six dB per octave comes from, and the difference between 10 log with powers and 20 log with volts.